Good morning, everybody. Well, I guess it's afternoon now, isn't it? Good afternoon, everybody. Today was the day that our windows officially got finished being installed. Yes. The only problem is we still have one issue left with the front door that they're going to come back and fix, but... I was going to say, before people are like, are you going to take the stickers off? No. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so we got one more thing that they have to fix before we can get the whole thing inspected. Actually, I'm wondering, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the company and find out if we can have the whole thing inspected now and then take the stickers off and then have them fix the front door, because maybe that can happen. You never know. Well, no, because I'm then hoping. if they do that, then aren't we stuck with the dented door? Because they, I don't know if they even know that the guys who installed the door dented the door. Yeah, that's what happened. It like swung open and hit our light and now there's a big dent in it. So we're having them replace the entire door. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think we should be able to, I don't know, I'll call and find out. Oh, the excitement. Yeah, maybe we'll just wait. Like <laughs> eh, the, the little stickers don't really bother me. The stickers never bothered me anyway. Question for you guys. Have you ever had a day where you have so much going on that once you're done doing everything, you're kind of like, wait, what did I miss? Like, what else is there to do? I feel like there's something else that I'm supposed to be doing right now, but I don't think there is. I think that's it. I think I think I finished everything that I needed to do today. And now I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. I got so much time for activities. One of the most important things I had to do today was love on this little baby. I know, don't you just wanna like- Scratch on his head. I just feel like we we should just take the day to like snuggle with Bandit. Squish on Bandit. <laughs> and maybe watch a movie. Yeah. One of the things that I was doing today, which was pretty fun and pretty exciting, was we put out a bonus episode of the podcast. That's BLT Lunch Break. Make sure you guys check it out on iTunes. This may be something that we do. It's just kind of like an experiment because the podcast is just first starting out. It was an interview that we did with the creator of Fairly Odd Parents. He has a new show coming out called Bunts and the Beast. And uh, we interviewed him and it was it was fun. It was an interesting thing. I've never interviewed somebody before. I don't think I was very good at the interview because I'm like, it's not something that I do. It's not like my wheelhouse. But it was really an interesting experience for me because like I said, I've never done it before. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys check it out. iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. It's all available. For more information, go to bltlunchbreak.com. I'm eating some cheese and crackers right now, and it makes me feel fancy, not because I'm eating it on a snowman Christmas plate, but because this knife is specifically made for cutting cheese. This is a cutting the cheese knife. Okay, so that was a little bit embarrassing. We occasionally get packages through UPS, like when I order something from Amazon, he comes up and I'm like, I meet him outside. Hey, Mr. UPS man, it's always the same guy. Always the same UPS guy. He was not delivering to our house today, but he was delivering to one up the street. And as he was driving by, I was outside getting the garbage can in, and I was like, hey, Mr. UPS man, and I waved at him, and it was just like stone cold. Didn't even look at me, just kept driving. And I was like, oh no, I'm not like hip with the UPS man anymore. What are you doing? Oh, I'm installing this, this thingy. It's a doorstop. Stop? It's a doorstop, and it stops all <laughs> oh, the doors. Oh no, wait, 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 is that the right way? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. I was just, right. <laughs> it didn't seem right for a second. Oh no. But there it is, and there's our burnt wood. Yeah. Yeah. And I am making some dinner. I'm getting the tater tots ready to go in. The chicken is already in there, and then we had a salad a minute ago, but I didn't show you guys, but it was delicious. Even Bandit wanted some of the salad. He was like trying to like wait for me to drop some. We didn't really explain that burnt wood so much. We have burnt wood that we found underneath our house because before we bought the house, we're assuming... Oh, I'll put the video up in the corner though where we went under the house to do the electric, and I think that's when we found this wood. Yeah, um, so I guess apparently at one point, a burning log had rolled out of the fireplace and into the middle of the living room and burnt a hole through the floor in the middle of the living room. I think it caught a couch on fire too because there's some burnt remnants of a couch underneath the house. You can see where they repaired the floor joists and you can see where they repaired the floor. So I wish we had been there for that story, but no, we just found the aftermath of a burnt hole in the middle of our house. But they never told us but there was a fire in the house. Yeah. And I feel like they probably were by law supposed to tell us that. They may have known that it happened. I think they did. So for the movie, I know we told you earlier that we're like, hey, we should watch a movie tonight. We're gonna watch Heck Boy. Did you show him your dinner? No, I ate it all. Oh no. It was uh, we never showed you. the healthiest thing you've ever seen in your no. life. We it was just salad. like, I did have salad, but it was tater tots and uh, 
chicken cordon bleu, right? No, chicken with the chicken florentine. No, bro. Chicken with okay. broccoli. Well, That's no. right. Yeah. No, chicken florentines with spinach, isn't it? Yeah. Whoops. It was healthy-ish. It was cheese, but everything else was sort of like potatoes and meat. And then uh, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch Heck Boy. Heck Boy. <laughs> Trying to keep it family friendly. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? I was watching Heckboy on FX and man, they put so many commercials in. They're like, oh, we gotta put these credits go by so fast. Don't wanna waste any time on those credits. So 100% real talk, Heckboy was really good. It was a good movie. I enjoyed watching it. I hated, hated watching it on the FX app. Like, every, every time you say Heckboy. Oh, Heckboy, Jen <laughs> loves it that I call it Heckboy. But the FX app, like, you look at it and you're like, holy cow, look at all these movies. There's like so many movies that they offer. It's terrible. It's like worse than watching it on TV because there are commercials every 15 minutes. So watching a two hour movie takes like an extra hour and a half, which is not fun at all. But also, it uh, the commercials are all exactly the same. Like when you're watching it on TV, there's like different things. This commercial, that commercial, another thing. This one was just like, Chevy trucks like we got five of them Yay, like I was just getting so annoyed. I just kept hitting mute and then like doing whatever on my phone like so Just as like an FYI FX the fact that you guys put the same commercial over and over and over again Makes me watch the commercial less so you're not getting your money's worth Chevy trucks because I don't want to buy a Chevy truck anymore. I don't know what's going on My throat has been making me like coffee all day. I don't like that I did just fall asleep on the couch, which was lovely, like a throwback. Felt good to fall asleep on the couch, but I think I should probably go to bed now because I don't want my throat to get any worse than it is now, which feel totally fine, but my throat hurts. So I just want to make sure that my throat is uh, a-okay. So I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.